<laughs> the weirdest part about it was just the incredibly long thank you letter I got from my dad. <laughs> I don't know, like I said, dating's awful. I make a lot of bad dating decisions. Like, uh, you know, I'm just attracted to the wrong kind of girl. I mean, um, when it comes to girls, I mean, I, I try to find them who make, like, worse decisions than me. Like, <clears throat> the last girl I dated, uh, you know, she had, like, we had nicknames for each other. She used to call me Teddy, uh, Teddy Bear. Yeah, I'm a little overweight, that's cool. I, like, uh, I used to call her dog shit. <laughs> Everybody's like, why would you call her that? I was like, because you'd only pick that bitch up if you had a bag. Just like dog shit. Uh, oh, no, it's funny. So, dating, yeah, no, I, I wish I wasn't dating. I just wish I had somebody to go home to every night. You know, I started dating this girl, super cute, super cute. You know, we've been dating like two weeks. You know, it's so early on, she's, she's ready for the cop. And if anybody here can help me find one to give to her, that would be awesome. Uh, no, uh, it's funny, just like on our last day, we decided, you know, third day in, let's do this. Let's, let's, let's get it on. So, but I wasn't prepared. I wasn't expecting her to even find anything attractive about me. So I was like, hey, let's stop by the 7-Eleven. I have to buy some condoms. Condoms are always weird. You know, every guy here remembers that first time when they're 13 buying condoms, fucking their friends, their best friend's mom. And it's just like super awkward. And I could tell that the guy behind the counter at 7 Eleven was like, ah, oh, this is kind of awkward. He's like, uh, so I hand him the condoms, just that, and the energy great. Like, I fucking need that. And, uh, and then he's like, hey, guy, you need a bag with this? And I was like, nah, oh, man, she's super cute. <laughs> Shit. Yeah, no, the worst part about that dude is how, like, we start to leave, and then she goes, hey, can I get one of those? Oh, my God. Uh, I don't know. I talk about energy drinks, but I'm at that age. I'm getting older. I can't do things like I used to. Like, I don't have energy. I wish I did. Like, uh, like I love those five-hour energy drinks. You know, five hours of energy, just one shot. Fucking awesome. Sounds amazing. I, I think with five hours of energy, that means I can now cuddle for four hours and 55 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. I don't know. Like I said, getting older sucks. I can tell when I was getting older, you know? You can just look around you. You can see all these things that like you like like your youth like just loved, just wanted to have and represented you as a person. And you have to take them down. Like I, you know, a while back, I remember when I was young I used to have a Scarface poster. I could tell I was getting older because I took down my Scarface poster. And I put it up in a frame, like, <laughs> like that's the kind of old I am. That, I don't know. Can't do things like I used to. Can't fuck like I used to. Can't eat like I used to. I, I wish I could. I love eating stuff. I just can't eat things like I need to. The only thing I ever need to eat now is tongues. It's awful. I love spicy foods. I love buffalo wings. My favorite meal. It's awesome. Love it. So good. Uh, but now whenever I go out to eat buffalo wings, I have to like really think about like, oh, how is this going to affect me tomorrow? Or, like, I need to do taxes or stupid shit like that. <laughs> that adults think of, but what about my 401k? Um, so whenever the waitress comes, like at Buffalo Wild Wings, love that place. Uh, like she always walks up to me. She goes, sir, like, uh, how would you like your wings? And I go, you know, I'd like them hot, but not too hot. You know, like Sarah Jessica Parker is like <laughs> 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 Oh. Or how about this? Pamela Anderson. So she used to be hot. Now they're just fucking disgusting. So I don't know. I like. I, it's funny. I'm I, I'm 37, a little older. You know. I like. I, it's funny. Sex in the city is something to the people that I hate. You know. I find people at that specific age where it means something. You know. A few years back, five, six years ago, that show was super popular. Dating this girl was into role playing. Role playing school. I'm down with that. I like. She always wanted to role play Sex in the City. You know, she always would pretend to be Carrie. I'd always pretend to be big. And it was... <laughs> I don't know. TV school. I love TV. Like, anybody here watch TV? Make some noise. Four or five people who have Netflix who call it TV. That's awesome. They're like my grandparents. 
Uh, no, TV's cool. Like, I, I've always been a big fan. Like, I, when recently I've gotten into a new show, or like, not even a new show, but it's like, it's been around for a while. But anybody here watch Two and a Half Men? No, yeah, no, I like, I, I love it. Not the CBS shit com. No, not that one. No, Two and a Half Men. It's on the Discovery Channel. It's about five midgets living in an apartment. <laughs> Yeah, now that last episode was fucked up because they went out to a bar similar to this one, and then uh, they got in a fight with some people, and the other guys pulled out knives, and all those midgets pulled out their small arms. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, midgets are fine. Right. I like midgets. I don't know. I like it's an easy topic to tell jokes about. It is. I like you know. I, I've done a lot of research. Like, does anybody know the scientific term for a midget? Like a group of midgets? Block. No, it's called a hilarious. <laughs> okay, I can tell that we all have little people friends. I understand. No. It's funny. A lot of people say you shouldn't make jokes about people who can't help things. I totally agree with that. I, sometimes you just have to laugh at things. I like when it comes to little people. I you really have to hand it to them. It's a tough life. You especially have to hand it to them if it's on the top shelf. <laughs> Anyhow, uh, I, I don't know if I'm killing or if I've killed this place, but it sounds like when the bar shuts down, everybody just wants to go home and continue drinking. Is that what's happening? Or that guy who wants to steal a stool for about a foot and a half. That's super awesome. So, I don't know. Let's see. Uh, I tell you what, like I said, like, uh, I'm going to get off the stage here soon, but I just want to get this off my chest. Dating's difficult. I especially, if you're a guy, there are a bunch of, like, you know, there's a bunch of girls out there who do not want anything to fucking do with you. And that's the sad part. I like, uh, dating's difficult. I, like I said, like, I dated this girl once, and I've made a lot of bad decisions. She used to, like, she was one of those girls who had, like, that small dog she'd always carry in her purse. And she always treated that dog like it was a baby. But she was kind of, like, made a lot of bad decisions, so by the fact that she treated her dog like a baby, I meant she kept leaving it in dumpsters. <laughs> hey, that's good enough for me. Anyhow, listen, let's go ahead and get some more people up here singing karaoke. Who can entertain the masses? Hey, big round of applause for Johnny's on second for allowing us to stay in after 1 p.m. Why am? Nobody claps. Just me. Thanks, guys. All right, you guys, get up.